So, hello guys! At muling nagbabalik ang iyong engineer, Benong. Okay? And the topic that we will discuss is special points in a triangle. Okay? So, the first point is centroid. When we say centroid, is this the intersection of median? Ano naman po kapag sinabi natin median? Okay? Ang median po ay isang line segment na dinodraw natin from vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Let's say this is side AE. Okay? At ang median niya ay idodraw natin mula sa vertex C hanggang doon sa midpoint ng side AE. Same thing para kay side EC. Okay? Idodraw naman natin siya mula kay vertex A hanggang dito sa midpoint ng side EC. And so, ganun din po ang gagawin para kay side AC. Okay? So, itong point na to kung saan nag-intersect yung tatlong line segment na yan ay yung tinatawag nating centroid, center of gravity, or center of mass. Paano po yan kinukuha? Um, Ina-average lang po natin yung x-coordinates at y-coordinates. So, para makuha yung x-bar or coordinate ng inyong centroid, that is x1 plus x2 plus x3 all over 3 kasi tatlong vertex po tayo. Kung nagkataon naman, ang binigay sa atin ay isang rectangle, ay di plus a uh, over 4 naman po yun, okay? Pero triangle lang naman po yung usapan natin. Okay, ano pa yung takeaway nyo sa centroid? Okay, kung alam nyo po yung pagpapatas-patas or pagpapile ng mga bato, pagpapile ng stones, kung magtataka kayo, hindi naman siya regularly shaped na stones, siya ay irregularly shaped. So, how are the people able to do this? Nahahanap po nila yung center of mass at kapag napagtapat-tapat or napag-align natin yung center of mass, then magkakaroon ka ng balance at yan po yung magiging result. Okay, so that's the essence of centroid. Another point in a triangle is what we call the in-center. When we say in-center naman, ito yung point kung saan nag-i-intersect yung mga angle bisectors. Ano naman po kapag sinabi natin angle bisector? Ang angle bisector po ay isang line segment na humahati doon sa angle ng opposite or angle sa isang vertex into two equal angles. So as you can see, this is this one. This is angle C. Okay, this line segment, yan yung tinatawag nating angle bisector kasi hinati niya po yung angle into two equal parts. Same thing kapag ito yung tinignan natin, ito yung angle bisector niya and same thing din po dito. Okay, so yung intersection ng tatlong yan ay yung tinatawag po nating in center. So those are the two important points in a triangle. Okay, so... Let us solve different problems. Let us solve problems regarding centroid. On a design plan, the vertices of a thin triangular components are A, negative 2, 4, B, 6, 2, and C, negative 4, negative 2. Find the center of the mass. On a design plan, the vertices of a thin triangular components are A, negative 2, 4, B, 6, 2, and C, negative 4, negative 2. Find the center of the mass. Okay? Center of the bus, di ba? Centroid lang po naman yun. So, binigyan tayo ng point A, which is negative 2, 4. Binigyan tayo ng point B, which is 6, 2. Binigyan tayo ng point C, which is negative 4, negative 2. Okay? So, to find XM and YM, Diba? That is just summation ng x-coordinates all over 3 kasi triangle kung square ay di over 4. Or simply, x1 plus x2 plus x3 all over 3. So that is negative 2 plus 6 plus negative 4 all over 3. This is equal to 0. And then, for the coordinate of the center of the mass, for the y-coordinate, that is summation lang po ng mga y-coordinates ng lahat ng vertex all over 3. So, that is y1 plus y2 
plus y3 all over 3. Okay? So, that is equal to 4 plus 2 plus negative 2 all over 3. So, that is equal to 4 thirds. So, pag pinatanong nasa ng iyong centroid, so, centroid is at 0, 4, 3. 0, 4 thirds. Kapag hindi x, m, y, m yung gamit, probably, baka ang ginamit na references ay x bar, y bar. Okay, so, ganyan po din i-denote ang isang centroid. So, please copy. Moving on to the second problem. A triangle has its vertices at A, 2, 1, B, 7, 1, and C, 9, 3. What is the distance between its centroid and the side BC? A triangle has its vertices at A, 2, 1, B, 7, 1, and C, 9, 3. What is the distance between its centroid and the side BC? So, may tatlo tayong vertex located at 2, 1, 7, 1, at saka 9, 3. So, i-plot po natin. So, 2, 1. So, this is A, 7, 1. This is B, and then 9, 3. So, teka lang. A, B, tapos 9, 3. So, ito. Okay, so yan po yung triangle natin. Hanapin daw natin yung distance mula sa centroid papunta sa side BC. Okay? Turahin ko lang to. Kung isuzoom din natin yan na mga 125 times, okay? So this is side A with coordinates 2, 1. This is side B, uh, ver vertex B rather, with, si with coordinates 7, 1. And this is vertex C with coordinates 9, 3. So, at some point, kunwari sabihin natin, ito yung centroid natin. Sabihin na lang natin capital letter M yun. Okay? Hanapin daw natin yung distance papuntang side BC. Okay? By the way, that distance should be perpendicular distance. So, ang kailangan pala natin ay distance of a point to a line. Tama po ba? May line ba tayo dyan? Wala. Pero, itong segment na to ay dumadaan or parte ng isang malaking linya. Tama po ba? And since, yung line na yan ay dumaan sa point B at point C, may makukuha tayong equation ng line. Okay? Eh, kailangan din natin makuha yung coordinates ng centroid natin. So, kuhain muna natin ang coordinates ng centroid natin. So, xm. So, di ba yun ay addition lang or sum ng lahat ng x coordinates. So, 2 plus 7 plus 9 all over 3. So, that is 18 divided by 3. That is 6. And then, for the y coordinate of the center of the mass or the centroid, that is 1 plus 1 plus 3. All over 3. So, meron tayong 5 thirds. So, m centroid, that is 6, 5 thirds. Then, we need to get the equation of the line that is passing through points B and C. Okay? So, yung C is 9, 3. And point B, that is 7, 1. So, y is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So, that is 1 minus 3 all over 7 minus 9. Okay? So, this is negative 2. This is also negative 2. This is positive 1. Okay? And then, 
gagamitin natin yung point intercept form. Alin yun? Yung y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. Okay, so as you can see, madaming application tong problem na to. So that is y minus 3 equal to 1 quantity x minus x1 which is 9. So y minus 3 equals x minus 9. So x minus y plus 6 equal to 0. Okay? And to get the distance of a point to a line, diba, that is D equals AX plus BY plus C plus minus C tapos minus plus square root of A squared plus B squared. Diba, kung ito ay plus 6 ang nasa baba ay minus. Kung ito naman ay minus 6 ang nasa baba ay plus Okay, so that is x, x, but what is x? 6 minus y, but what is y? 5 thirds. So 6 minus 5 thirds plus 6, square root of, anong coefficient nito? Diba 1? Anong coefficient din nito? 1 then. So 1 squared plus negative 1 squared. Plus 6 to diba? Anong sign dito sa baba? Minus. So, that is equal to 5 square root ng 2 over 6. Alam ko na posible na mag-negative yung sagot natin. Pero, ang pinapatanong lang naman sa atin is numerical value. So, i-absolute value po natin iyan. Okay? So, 5 square root of 2 all over 6 units. So, ganun po kalayo yung vertex natin. I'm sorry, yung centroid natin papunta sa side BC. Again, aling distance yung measure natin? Perpendicular distance. Okay? So, please copy.